and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the people of Tube. Hope today, I hope you're feeling grand and always well in your world. I certainly am, as well, oh, because thanks to you lot out there, uh, thanks to people on Facebook, and thanks to Mark and Matt at Boss, my Tone Studio now works, and I am over the moon and happy because um, after kind of like diving into it a little bit when it didn't work but it kind of worked, but didn't. I was like, I really want to play with this more. And I didn't understand why I was getting bank B. I couldn't get bank B and all that kind of thing. And thanks to, I say, thanks to you lot and, um, and Mark and Matt at Boss. Um, yeah, I discovered basically my Boss Guitar had never been updated. It was still on update one, basically. So um, finally got the Guitar updated to uh, kind of a high, you know, to, was it version four or something like that. And uh, got the tone studio working, got everything working, and I am one happy little bunny, to say the least. I'm so happy. So thank you so much for everyone to give advice. You know, it really did help. It really did help and say, you know, here we are. So I thought today is finally I get a chance to do the video that I was going to do uh, about a week ago when it didn't work and I was pulling my hair out. Not that I've got a lot of hair left and I can't afford to do that. So... Uh, so yes, yeah, so uh, I was playing with this yesterday, but I got option paralysis and had to walk away. So what I decided to do was basically just kind of like um, go away and plan out what I was going to use uh, because I got carried away. I was like, oh, what about this effect and what about that effect? Um, which is what you normally do. It's like it's like it's one of those things when you get like a, a multi effects unit or something like that, or like a new gadget. You kind of find out what you know. You want everything, and uh, so I and. That didn't work. <laughs> that did not work. So, uh, I thought basically what I'd do today is just kind of like film me talking about uh, programming the Katana 100 to how I want it. Which is basically very simple, really. Uh, I want a clean tone uh, with the ability to access distortion uh, on by, by the, uh, via the foot switch. So I want a clean tone with distortion, but on that distortion, I want to be able to access delay as well. And I also want reverb. So, you know, those three effects, that's easy. I also want a, a, a cleany kind of John Fashanti chorus kind of sound with a, a bigger delay. So I could do volume swells with chorus. I like that. And uh, and reverb as well. And also distortion as well, because I like distortion with chorus. It sounds great. Then I'll also like... So, and, and that should cover kind of my basis for... Um, you know, for, for, for distortion and all that kind of thing. And then also I want kind of like a, a Jimi Hendrixy kind of bluesy overdrive with Univibe. And I also want a, uh, a Univibe with um, with like a delay. And then I can't think of anything else I would really need because I've kind of, I kind of covered all my bases there. So basically I planned it out. So channel one, and also I've got bank B now as well. So this makes it even better. So channel one today, uh, all I'm going to do is going to set that because I, I messed around with it yesterday. And what I'm going to do with, cha with channel one is I'm just going to reset channel one, uh, bank A, to just be my pedal board preset. And uh, I'll tell you the the, 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 the uh, EQ, well, I'll tell you where I've got it all set in a second. So channel one, bank A, is just going to be uh, clean. My, my pedal board, basically, for, for, you know, when I go out gigging, uh, if I ever get to go out gigging again. Um... So that'll be just that. Uh, channel 1 bank B won't be anything. I'm just going to leave that blank. I'm just going to leave it as a nothing at this point in time. So we're not going to worry about that. Channel 2, I'm going to set up with my kind of John Fashanti clean-esque kind of sound. But on the booster mod side, I'm going to have distortion. And then on the delay effect side, I'm going to have a delay. Uh, it should, you know, It's going to be like a solo Dave Murray-esque kind of delay. It's not going to be kind of crazy and drastic. And I'm also going to have a reverb going as well all the time. So that'll be my, that'll, that'll cover my clean distortion and delay and reverb once, which is my core kind of sound, so to say. And then what I've decided to do for channel two, bank B, is set up the exact same sound, near enough, but I'm going to put a chorus on it. So when I hold the panel button now, down now, which works because I have bank B, because um, I couldn't figure out for the life of me why it didn't work, but yeah. Anyway... Uh, I'm going to set bank B up, channel 2, to be my chorus sound. So all I need to do to access the chorus is hold down the panel. Then I can go from a clean tone to the chorus tone, or clean-ish tone, to the clean-ish clean chorus thing. I'm on... Anyway. And then the same thing on that. What I'm going to do on that one is, again, add distortion. Uh, but the I'm, I'm going to add delay as well. But the, 
delay is going to be a bit more drastic so I can do volume swells because I, I love doing that violin in thing with, with chorus. So that's what's going to be on channel 2, bank A and bank B. Channel 3 is going to be my Jimi Hendrix kind of patch. So I'm going to have like an overdrive kind of sound. You know, think machine gun. That's I always do that. Um, yeah, basically Jimi Hendrix machine gun kind of sound. Uh, I also want distortion on that and I want univibe on that. So distortion will go in the booster mod side of the foot switch and then the univibe will go in the delay effects part. And then I'll have reverb on all the time. So that'll be channel three bank A and then channel three bank B. Same thing, all the same thing. But instead of having just a reverb, I'm going to have a reverb and delay because you can do that with the tone studio and that's really cool. So, uh, and then channel four, I, I, I kind of, Again, it's just a blank. I don't really... Uh, that kind of covers me for everything I kind of really want at this point in time, to be honest with you. I don't really require anything else at this point in time. So, um, so yeah, that that's it, you know. And, and this is this was the problem that I, I found yesterday. It was I was just really... I got swamped by the amount of effects I can use. And I was a bit like, you don't need that. You're never going to use that. I, I, I was, like, setting up effects, and I'm like, what... You're never going to need that. You're never, ever going to use that. And if you do need it, um, you know, you can always come back on air and program it in. But, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't use a great deal of effects. I use, you know, I use clean, reverb, delay, chorus, and distortion, and that's it. You know, those, those five effects really kind of, like, cover me. And reverb is pretty much on all the time, and obviously my cleanest tone is on pretty much all the time. And on my pedal board setting, I don't need anything. I don't need anything at all. It just needs to be set clean as a whistle to take uh, my pedal board, you know. Uh, so, yeah. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get into this. So, I'm going to do everything uh, through the tone sheet. I'm not going to manipulate the top panel in any way, shape, or form today. So, uh, so yeah. So, uh, we are on channel one, right? Let's make sure it... It's so weird watching it kind of change. It's so cool. Especially when you turn the dials on the top and they spin on there. Really creepy. And also I've got the right button so I can save things. I'm happy as Larry. So, channel one, bank A. Uh, I want this for my pedal board. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the Katana to the acoustic mode. Uh, gain all the way up on 100. Volume all the way up on 100. Bass all the way off on zero. If I correct, yep. I'm going to put my bass up to, uh, middle up to 40, which is where I kind of set it. Treble all the way on zero. Booster, booster mod off, delay effects mod off, reverb off, and I have presence at 50. So that now should give me ridiculously clean. Does what it says on the tin. It's really not... Um, Really, I mean that, that's 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 like you know nineteen seventies disco clean. I like that. It's really cool. Anyway, that's my, that's that's my pedal board. So again, acoustic mode, gain and volume are hundred. Bass is at zero. Middle is at forty. Treble is at zero. Booster mod. Delay effects and reverb are all off, and presence is at 50. So, uh, right. So, okay. So now, that's that should have saved. So let's go there, and then come back. Yay! Love it. Love it. It's so cool. Okay, so simple as easy peasy. Okay, so moving on. Let's go to channel two, and let's set up this John Fashanti cleanest kind of tone. So the John Fashanti clean-ish tone... <coughs> That I've got. That's chorus. That was from me yesterday messing around with things that I shouldn't be messing around with. Let me just turn that off. Okay, so so channel two bank A. Okay, so brown mode. Gain all the way down on zero. Volume all the way up on 100. Ooh. Bass all the way up on 100. Middle and treble on zero. Uh, let's turn... Turn all the effects off. Uh, I think presence was on zero as well, isn't it? Let's just find out. It's not peeking out the camera, is it? I do, I do apologize. I don't know how well you'll be able to hear the amp as, uh, very well, but... Um... I'm pretty 
pretty sure I didn't have a presence up. If I had a presence anyway, it'd be a 50, so. No, I didn't have it. Did I? No, I didn't. I had presence at zero. So, so yeah, this, th that's my kind of go-to cleanish tone for the katana is uh, the brown mode with the gain all the way on zero, volume all the way up on 100, bass all the way up on 100, uh, middle on zero, treble on zero. Uh, we'll get into the effects now and then presence at zero. So, I want a distortion. And I found yesterday, much to my happiness, there's a... It's not a DS2. But I love it nonetheless. Uh, there is a booster called Turbo OD. And I'm pretty sure it's not it, It's not a DS2, but I really like the sound of it. It's really smooth and, and warm. And that should be... Yeah, I've got it programmed in. So, yeah, of course, because I was messing around with it yesterday. So, through distortion on the booster mod setting of the foot switch, I have, I have this distortion set. <laughs> Nearly played a Chili Peppers song then. Got to be careful, David. It's just really nice and smooth and warm. And when you do power chords, it sounds great. I do apologise if it peaks the camera. Uh, but, I don't know, maybe it does it seem a bit dark? So that's the turbo overdrive and I've got that set. I'm gonna write these down as we go as well So I don't forget them because I'm an idiot and I will okay, so um, come on pen um, Okay, so turbo overdrive I like that sound it's really cool <laughs> Responds in the same way as a DS2, which I really like, because the DS2 is fast becoming my favourite distortion pedal of all time. You know, even maybe, maybe even better. You know, I'm I'm using that more than I'm using the governor. Anyway, so that's Turbo Overdrive, and I've got that set with the drive on full, so it's 120. Um, and now I've got the tone at zero, bottom is at 50, so I've boosted like you know the low end. Effect level is at 100, and then the solo switch, solo level, and direct mixer is kind of off. So I'm not using that, but... It's a nice... No, no it's a nice kind of, like, difference in volume. Yeah, it's just a smidgen louder, but not over the top. But I love the way it sings. It's really smooth. Way responds in the low notes as well. Love it. Okay, so that's done. So the next thing, what do I need next? Reverb. Let's go. Let's go reverb. So I'm on panel, aren't I? It's not bad, but it's not not quite. Um, I want a little bit more kind of. I think yeah, the time's okay. You know the way it dies. But I want a bit more of the. I want a bit more of the effect of it. So uh, let's boost that up. I'm gonna boost it to sixty. Everyone, hold your hats. <laughs> Perfect. 
Okay, that is absolutely perfect. So that's reverb. Reverb time is 5.0. Pre-delay is 10. Effects level is 60. Uh, direct mix is 100. Low cut, high cut. I haven't touched that, so that'll be whatever it is. <laughs> Love it. That's I, I like I like the reverb when it kind of takes ages to die off. Yeah, I like that. So, uh, by the way, everyone, I will do an outro jam. I promise. I won't. Uh, you know, there's no intro jam today, but there will be an outro jam, and hopefully, it'll just be using the foot switch. And I'm not going to use uh, not going to use any external effects. I'm just going to use the guitar and I'll just shove a data loop in the effects loop and and go from there. Okay. So, what was the other thing? Delay. Okay. So, have I got anything? No, I haven't got to say anything sharp at all. Okay, so um, so that's delay. So that should be distortion. Cool. So we've got reverb, which is going to be on all the time. But reverb's never going to get turned off, basically. So that would be kind of that. It might be a bit much, but I don't think so. <laughs> okay. So um, uh, so where are we? So delay. So let's get a delay then. It's so easy. Uh, when it works, it's so easy. Oh my gravy Jones. Okay. I want more. I want more feedback. I love it. I love. I love it. That things just just work. And I want this to kind of like be like a Dave Murray kind of delay where. You can, uh, it's mainly for, it, it, I don't think it'd be really for clean. Although that does sound great. Can anyone name that piece of music? Okay, so, um... So I want this, yeah, but like Dave Murray kind of like lead solo kind of thing. So when you kind of kick on distortion and go to neck pickup and you do big bends, you've got that real epic Dave Murray kind of sound. And again, it doesn't get in the way if you do anything fast. It's just there as a kind of, not textural, definitely not textural. You can still hear it, but uh, let's find out. <laughs> Perfect, absolutely perfect. And I love you get you get tails on this, so you can turn the effect off and it tails out. I love tails. Uh, it always bugged me when delay would just kind of die off. It was it was the one thing that used to like it was like a little pet peeve of mine. So there we go. That's it. That's it. That was easy. Crikey, that was quick. Okay, so uh, now in theory, then, so I have my clean tone with reverb on, which I can turn off if I want, obviously with the foot switch. But I don't know why I would do that. <laughs> I could play songs. I play my songs, but. It's not that cold. But anyway, uh, so yeah, so we've got clean, and then we'll have distortion on the on the uh, booster mod mode. <laughs> We've got delay on the delay side. Woo! Dave is one happy little bunny. So, uh, so that's that. That that is. So that's channel two, bank A. So, right. Okay. Okay. So let that save. So now, if I go back to channel one, which is my acoustic pat, uh, uh, paddleboard patch, <coughs> clean as a whistle, and then. John mode. Yes, this is wicked. Okay, so um, yeah, that was that was easy. Crikey. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn the camera off while I just kind of get the chorus set in. Uh, you know, it's exactly what I've just done. 
and then I'll turn the camera on again when we do the uh, the Jimi Hendrix kind of sound, basically. So, uh, so I'm just going to go over to uh, Channel 2 Bank B and then basically do the exact same thing. And I can actually do it really quick, actually. If I go... If I go... Uh, on the, on the Tone Studio, if I click right again in the top right corner, and then I can select, so I want it on channel B, uh, yeah, bank B channel 2. So that, that should save there. So that's exactly the same sound now, right? So if I go between the two, so this is, this is bank, this is bank A channel 2. <laughs> So if I switch over to bank B now, it should be the exact same sound. Wicked. So now, then all I need to do is just basically shove a chorus in there. Uh, yeah, because then I'm just going to have... Oh, can I have delay? I can't have delay and distortion though, can I? Piglets. Um, okay, we've we've hit a snag, ladies and germs. So, um... I wanted... Chorus, distortion and delay, and reverb. But I, ca I can have it, but it means the delay will be on all the time. And I kind of don't want that because I want to be able to do volume swells off and on. But that means I don't have distortion then. But I could always set up somewhere else to have distortion with. I've got, I've got channel four totally wide open. I've also got channel one bank B totally open as well so i could always program one of them in so that's okay so so i'll tell you what we'll do we'll scrap the delay for now i'm going to keep a keep an eye on what i'm doing and just leave it as it is but all i'm going to do is basically just add a chorus in so so bear with me a sec so we're on bank b so we have distortion and then that'll be delay won't it okay so let's swing that over to chorus Okay, that was easy enough. Okay, done. <laughs> oh, that, that is a stupidly wicked. Okay, okay, save. Okay, so now, flip flopping between the two, uh, I should have. Oh, hang on a minute. I want to save it. With, I want to save it with the chorus on. So when I flip to it, it's got chorus on. Okay. Okay, so now go back to channel A. Oh, you're not off, you're off facts. So this is channel A. And then channel B should give me chorus. Cool. And that's that. Okay, so now I've got an idea for um, channel one, bank B, which is going to be volume swells, basically. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about that. Let's, let's stick to the plan right now. Okay, so we've got channel two done. So, okay, so you know, that, that happened really quick. So let's move on to channel three, which is going to be my Jimi Hendrix mode. So Jimi Hendrix mode, what I use is lead mode. So gone to the lead mode, gain at 50, volume all the way up on 100, bass all the way. I always have bass cranked. I like, I like the bass cranked all the way. Uh, middle and treble at zero, presence at zero. Okay, so now... I want that, I want, uh, that, so I want, I, I want a uni vibe, and I'm pretty sure I've got this actually set, kind of, I've actually got this one set, so the uni vibe should be in effects, right, and that is one of the coolest uni vibes I've ever heard. <laughs> Okay, 
It's a real that is that is that is the Woodstock uni vibe. That is the Jimi Hendrix Woodstock uni vibe. <laughs> I, lo I love Univibe so much. It's why, it's why I put my Roto vibe back on the other pedal board. But I just miss that sound so much. Anyway. Okay, so where are we? So we've got Univibe. I'm pretty sure I set this up yesterday for distortion. It's the same thing. It's just that t uh, turbo. Yeah, it's not. No, I, I, ain't got it. I ain't got it set up right. Okay. So. Oh, I see. Yeah, I got a tone too low. I'm pretty sure it was that, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, so I've got that. So this should sound pretty epic with the universe. <laughs> So now I want the same thing again on channel three, bank B, but I want it with delay on as well. Oh my God, this is going to get even more silly. Okay, so I need to change it from reverb to reverb and delay. And then change delay too, right? Digital delay, yeah. Why have I got not got delay? What is going on? Oh, hang on a minute. That might be the reason. Nope. Hang on a minute. Okay, so... For some reason I'm not getting reverb and delay. Oh, there we go. I didn't have it selected. Hey, I'm great at technology. Idiot. Okay, so we have delay in there. So I'm just going to set it to the exact same delay I had. So if, if 400, they, the time was 400. I like things the same. I'm a creature of habit. Once I find a setting that works, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't go away from it. I'll tell you that for sure. Okay, so we had that at 10. Uh, where was the thing? 70. This is going to sound ridiculously epic. I might lose my mind with this sound. 
Actually, I'm going to lower the effects level actually to 60 instead of instead of that. Reverb is okay, right? Is that where I had reverb? Yeah. Okay, so now on Bank B Channel 3, I have the exact same thing, but I have delay as well. So let's go crazy. <laughs> So that's Bank B Channel 3 now. He's, he's basically the Jimi Hendrix tone that I always have just with delay. Oh my god. So if I go back to Channel A, that'll just give me clean. Right? <laughs> turbo distortion actually i might lower the tone on it it might and it might be a bit bright i'll see uh it needs a bit more playing so that's it so that's it that's that, that that's program so i've got channel one set up to my pedal board as clean as a whistle basically uh yeah so that's just so that's just really really clean then channel two is my job shanty s clean tone with reverb distortion <laughs> careful dave you see me wince <laughs> presence to 50 a sec because i swear i had presence up i like presence i don't like treble but i like presence yeah that's that that's the one so put presence at 50 dave for gravy's sake okay so we're gonna re-save that now i'm also gonna go to my other clean tone and save that one as well because that won't be there yeah so presence is my friend Treble is not my friend. I do not like treble, but I like presence. I've always preferred presence. I remember using it when I got my plexi. That's better. So how is that responding to the distortion? Because I'm Brian Hill. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. 
Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that did save because I'm paranoid. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So there we go. Cool. Uh, I'm going to set up channel four with spacey sounds. I'll be back. I'm not going to... Oh, I'm going to... No, actually, you know what? I'm not. No, I'm, I'm, I am I'm going to do it... Oh, oh my God. What is that? That's channel four. Uh, okay. Let's... Um... Let's, uh, let's, what's going on? Okay, that was a bit much, wasn't it? Okay, so, uh, okay, so I'm going to set up channel four. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, actually. Let's, 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 let's be clever about this. So, channel four, I'm going to set up just bank A. I'm not going to go for bank B. I don't think I'll need it. Uh, I'm going to go for channel four, bank A. I'm going to set that up for volume swells, violin -ing kind of thing. So... I'm going to go to channel 2, which is my clean. I'm going to save this into channel 4, bank A. Okay. Woohoo! Simple as that. So that's that. So now what I can do is I can do what I've always wanted to do, Pinky. Max out the reverb, and then we can add a delay. Nash! We can. I got a bit carried away then, didn't I? I'm also going to stick a chorus on there. So. Oh, that's nice. That delay's not right though. It's not. It's not enough. Um, well, it's not enough feedback for one. I've actually got a delay setting written down. So let's put some more feedback on that. Whoa, what's going on there? Actually, uh, put it put it really high. effects level really high so I'm going to crank the effects level to 120. Too loud, too loud. Let's bring it down to 90 I think. That's the one. So now on that channel I can turn the chorus off right. Just have the swells if I want. Why would you not want chorus on that? You're gonna have to alter that chorus though, because it's not quite. I don't know, it's not quite warbling enough for my liking. I actually wrote the thing down, didn't I? But I don't like that. I like that slight out of tuneness. enough there's not enough damn it uh reverb time can i boost that
That's it, I'm done. I don't need anything else. Okay, so clean, well, pedal board clean, uh, John clean, uh, Jimi Hendrix, and then Space Age. Okay, so is there a Jimmy difference between Jimmy and John? Yeah, you can hear there's a little bit more distortion. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay. So there we go, um, and then on channel, on bank B I should have clean to chorus, right? Yeah, and then on channel 3, bank B should be the Jimmy Sam with delay. Rock and roll, and then channel 4 B is nothing, channel 1 B is nothing. So changing back. I adore this sound. <laughs> sound even more actually you know what no I'm not gonna say it like that but That's it. And like I say, this is, I'm just gonna quickly talk about this because this is what I always kind of think is, yesterday when I was playing around this, I got option paralysis because I didn't know what I wanted. I was getting overwhelmed with the amount of effects I could have instead of actually looking at what I'm actually gonna use. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll get a Leslie speaker, rotary speaker in there, I'm never gonna use that. Oh, I'll get this flange effect in there and this phase night effect in there, I'm never gonna use that. Oh, what about this different distortion? I'm never gonna use that. And it took me last night just to kind of like process it in my brain subconscious, unconsciously, sorry, just to kind of go, right, what do you need? You need clean, distortion, univibe, because I adore it, delay, chorus, and reverb. And delay. I've already said delay, didn't I? Doi. And that's all you need. That's all you use, Dave. So you don't need anything else. So I was like, oh yeah. So I thought today for the video, I thought I'd just program that in and show you that. And, you know, hopefully yeah, bring you along for hopefully an, an okay video. I hope it's okay. I'm terrified. All of a sudden, like, I got a fear like about 10 minutes ago. I, was, I got the fear of like, this is really boring, Dave. So hopefully, hopefully... There's something in here. And I'm so happy to turn to your words. Like I say, thank you so much to everyone who gave me advice out there in YouTube land and on, on Facebook and, and and stuff like that. And also thanks, massive thanks to Mark and Matt at Boss as well for reaching out and, and, and helping me. It, I really appreciate it. No end. It really means a lot to me for to, you know, to receive that kind of help. And to get it to work as well. You know, thank you so much. It works flawlessly now. It's so easy. It's so... I can... I finally understand what people were saying. It's like saying, if you want to tweak the app, get the tone studio. It's so much easier. And I'm like, I totally agree. And it, yeah, I I am a tone studio convert now. I mean, uh, I mean, I, I'm I'm happy to plug into any katana in the world and use the top panel. I don't, I don't. 
you know, I, I won't, I don't need the Tone Studio to kind of like make this thing work for me. I'm a happy bunny regardless. If, as long as it says Katana on it, I'm a happy little man. But the Tone Studio does open up, up a whole new world of kind of possibility, which is very nice to have at your fingertips. But, and this is where the warning comes in, be aware of option paralysis. Do not let that take over because it can so easily take over and all of a sudden you're in like you know you're in a lot of trouble so you just got to be really really careful where you, where you go with it because it can get it can run away with you you know you want your wants and desires it, you can um run away with you over you kind of like over your need of what you need basically because i said i mean i don't use any effects other than these so uh so i've got that set up for me I could happily go to a gig with this right now and I'd be a happy man. You know what I mean? I don't need anything else. Obviously, I need a wah-wah. I can actually do that with the with the foot switch. I can actually have a wah-wah pedal. If I had to get an expression pedal, I can use a wah-wah pedal. Uh, an expression pedal. Oh, my God. Not doing that. I'll just stick to my uh, tried and true Mr. Vox Silvertop because I, I love him. Um, which I'm going to plug in, actually, for the, uh, for the solo jam thing at the end. Uh, but, yeah. Like I say, massive thanks to everyone who's helped out help me get this working i am a technical idiot and most of the problem was me <laughs> and I'm, I'm i'm not gonna i'm not gonna beat around the bush most of the problem was me but i didn't understand I, I, I my brain doesn't work very well with computers i'm just not very clever uh you know i'm, I'm you know i'm not very good at that this kind of thing but i'm so happy it works and i really love it so much it's so cool it's just made this amp even more perfect. I mean, it was perfect before, but it's even more now with the ability to access all these effects. And that uni vibe. Be still, my beating heart. I think I've said that twice in two videos now. But honestly, that uni vibe is one of the best uni vibes I've ever heard. It's a proper uni vibe. It sits right where it needs to sit. It, it does the whooshy, whooshy noise. Uh, that Woodstock sound. And I just, oh my God. That's going to have to be bought in at the end solo, I think, definitely. Anyway, without further ado, everybody, thank you so much. I hope this video has been somewhat interesting. I do apologise if it's been boring. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, but I hope there's something in there. And like I say, massive thanks to everybody who's helped me, um, you know, get this working. And I really do appreciate it, no end. And thank you very much indeed. I'll see you again on Monday for another vid. Have a great weekend. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening. And, uh... And yeah, goodbye now. And I recommend the highly recommend the Tone Studio.